Hey guys! Today I just thought of sharing with you how to create one of my favorite looks. I really think that this look is very good for the winter cold because it gives you that rosy cheeks. Ready to get cuddly? My skin is usually good with winter so I don't really need that much foundation. Instead I'm gonna be using BB cream for today's look. And we're just gonna apply the right amount all over the face. Also, quick tip, if you dab the product onto your face, it usually tends to stay longer than just wiping it around. Congratulations, now we look like a corpse. Moving on to concealer. So we're just gonna apply a little amount of concealer on our under eye, under the brows, in the forehead and also in the areas that just need a little help of coverage. Now we're gonna use a stifling brush and we're just gonna use this to dab around our face. Spread the product evenly to give a smooth finish. Now you don't want to look too dead so we're gonna use a little bit of bronzer to tone things up. So I'm just gonna be using my Ultra HD Contour Stick from Makeup Forever and together we're gonna use it with a flat angled brush just gonna dab around on the hollows of our face. As I've mentioned before, the key to perfect contouring is the blending. For the nose, you could use your fingers or you could also use a small flat angled brush and we're just gonna try to line the nose and blending it in as you go. To seal everything in, I'm just going to be applying a little bit amount of setting powder all over the face. Now that we've got a pretty base, we're just going to go on ahead and move on to doing our brows. For this look, I'm going to use my Bigger and Bolder Brow Set from Benefit Cosmetics. And today, I just felt like having straight and thicker brows than usual. Also, I haven't got my brows fixed in quite a few months, so we're just gonna help that a bit with a little bit of concealer just to shape things up. To lift our brows, we're gonna be using the highbrow brow pencil. You could also use a white eyeshadow or a highlighter as an alternative. I really think that the eyebrows could do so much wonders with the face. I mean, look at the difference. Once you've done with the brows, we're just gonna move on to eyeshadow. And for this look, I'm gonna use my Blow Me Away palette from ColourPop. For the base, we're just gonna be using a peach nude color, and this color is called Issues. Just apply the right amount all over the lids. Next, get a pinkier peach color. This one is in centerfold and we're just gonna apply this all over the outer crease. My goal for this eye look is to basically just look like dolls. Now grab a smaller brush and we're just gonna spritz some water into it because we're gonna be using a metallic shade. And this shade is called Take a Break. It's a very shimmery champagne shade and we're just gonna be using this for the inner corners of our eyes. To complete that doll eye look, I'm gonna be using this burgundy shade. Grab a liner brush and we're gonna apply this on our waterline. Also, I just got eyelash extensions, so I'm gonna be skipping the whole eyelash part, but you can go ahead and apply fake eyelashes or just a few swipes of mascara. Now time for the rosy cheek. I like to use a darker pink shade for my cheeks, and we're just gonna grab a fluffy brush. We're gonna apply this all over our cheeks. Remember to brush from outwards to inwards. And of course, the look won't be complete without a little bit of highlight action. As usual, I'd be using my Gimme More palette from ColourPop Cosmetics and we're gonna use this shade in full service. I think it really completes the look because it gives me that rosy pink shimmer. We're gonna use the same shade on the bridge of our nose and also on our cupid's bow. 
to match with the rosy cheeks, we're gonna also try to attain that rosy lips look. I'll be using the ColourPop Lip Sticks in Gold Digger. And the key is to just apply this on the inner side of our lips. Technically, we're just trying to have that really natural pink lips. You can also use some leftover concealer and just dab this around on the outer corners of the lips. Now we're gonna soften our lips with a little bit of balm. This also helps us to avoid lip drying and cracking from the cold weather. And that's how I do my rosy cheek look for winter. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you want me to do more makeup tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to give love this Christmas. I'm really excited for the holidays and I hope that you are too. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and I guess I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays!